Our company is part of a holding company for the production of medicines in Kabarovs. We have a variety of equipment for the production of medicines, from a peltizer to an automatic self-adhesive labeling line. At the end of the year, we modernized and began replacing outdated and technically obsolete equipment. I have been working as a chief engineer for 15 years, and I know all the technological processes in the company very well. I chose new equipment to replace the technically unsuitable one myself, coordinating it with the management before purchase. It was not an easy job, there was a lot of equipment on the market, processes were changing and automated. I also planned to buy an emulsifier for the production of Vaseline ointment. Emulsifiers, homogenizers, are used to obtain mixtures, suspensions or emulsions of liquid components with different physical and chemical characteristics. The old machine at the ointment preparation site was constantly being repaired, and we sometimes couldn't deliver the product to the customer on time. Since I had already selected many different machines for our company, I had a little experience in selecting, and remained in contact with some reliable equipment manufacturers. I began to contact the manufacturers by telephone, and asked whether they could produce an emulsifier for the production of ointments. The main component of this process, is the homogenization of the components. I specified a compact machine with automatic control as my main criteria. I was not prepared to wait that long. Since I could not find an emulsifier manufacturer, I decided to take a different route, and consult with professionals who work in the pharmaceutical equipment supply industry, and maybe suggest another machine option. I looked on the internet for an intermediary from Russia, because I once had a bad experience with equipment supplied by a Chinese intermediary, when a powder filling line was brought to us, but there were no installation documents or technical passport. It took us a long time to set up the line, we consulted with the manufacturers on the phone, although they were reluctant to talk to us. I chose three vendors online, I looked at the firm's time in the pharmaceutical supply market, the company's website, and the machine's delivery terms as criteria. All companies I phoned to make sure of the professionalism of their managers. A specialist from one company in Krasnoyars told me to wait five minutes, but she did not listen to me. I didn't like such treatment of a client. The manager of another company from Kaliningrad talked to me in a polite manner, asked me questions about the required productivity of the equipment and the desired production time. In five days I received nine variants of different emulsifiers and an offer to choose by myself. I realized that they do not have a professional approach and will not help me in my search for equipment. The last, third option of the intermediary from Moscow turned out to be successful for me. The manager, a man, talked to me like a professional. He asked specific questions about the desired productivity of the machine, the capabilities of the machine, told me about the terms of delivery. At the stage of consulting, he suggested a cream and ointment emulsifier with a capacity of 30 liters, which I was able to quickly negotiate with the company management. Within a week we concluded a contract for the supply of equipment. The emulsifier allows the product to be heated and cooled slowly and operated under vacuum conditions. The reactor controls the pressure inside the apparatus and the water system. We are satisfied with the equipment. The competent advice saved me time and helped me avoid the mistakes I might have made if I had made the choice myself. It is better to devote time to your classes and your main occupation than to try to solve an uncharacteristic problem on your own so as not to fail the task completely.